the battery for the laptop. This is how it came in the mail from a source I bought from. I think it's in the 90 amp hour. We just did a test and it came up saying it was originally supposed to be 90 amp hour, watt hour, whatever. Uh, Let's hope it's that one and not the, the littler one. Looky there, it's the bigger one. Nothing else in there. That was packaged really nice. I'd say good on that. And here is the battery. It's simple battery. 2022, February 2022. That's great. Means it was just made. 90 watt hour. I always thought it was 92 or 96, but I guess I'm wrong. Alienware right on it. Very flimsy, but it'll be fine once it's in. There's a bunch of cells in here. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see the little lines going right down there. Uh, that's the different cells. Uh, mine's actually imploding inside the unit and it's making um, stuff not work correctly. So uh, 7,500 watt hour, milliamp hours. Don't know why it says that. You think it'd say like 9,000 or something? I don't know. Don't understand batteries fully. But there's the battery type we're going to be putting in. Nice connector. Looks like it's a almost a genuine battery, and I didn't think it was supposed to be that. So here we go. Putting it in. Here is the culprit. Here is the battery. This is the unit we're going to be putting it in. I guess this is called a, a Alienware. This is a 15-inch uh, Alienware, they say it's a 2019 model. The way to tell the difference is there is no lights across the back. Charge port is on the back. No lights around the front edge. The only lights are right here and right here. And eventually they'll probably do away with them lights. They think we don't want lights. So my issue was my battery is actually imploding inside, bending this up, and it's almost taken out my touch pad. Sometimes the right clicker don't even work even though it's kind of touch anyways. But in certain climates that I'm in, this starts to um, have very big issues. So we just did the unboxing on the battery. Now we're gonna install it. The only thing you need is a Phillips screwdriver that's very, very small. There's a screw here, 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 here. Tired of saying here. And then you're going to have two long ones on the end right here. And that sounds simple, but uh, I've torn, 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 I've torn apart a lot of Alienwares. And um, the generation right before this was a pain in the butt. I just didn't like the cover very much. Got rid of that one. The unit before that was perfect. I don't even think I put more than one screw in. They're going to have that little blue on there that's supposed to be Loctite to keep them in so they don't vibrate out. But I um, don't think you guys should have that issue. So these ones that are on the front here, them don't come out, at least on this unit. I've experienced a lot of different stuff over the Alienware years. And at least mine do not come out. Maybe your clips aren't in there. So, I'm going to show you guys something. It's kind of hard to see, but there's no gap right there. Yeah, kind of. As you pull this, it will make a gap. Watch this. See the gap forming? Hear it, like, clicking? Go until you hear it click on all three of these. Until it clicks. That one's not clicking, but I can feel it's out all the way. I think you guys can hear it clicking. And then pull on the back. Just kind of separate it. Don't pull on the screen too much, but just kind of flex it. Bend it a little. There, it popped right off. Now for the front, don't just yank it off. Some of these could still be screwed in. So put your screw on there. Unscrew it and pull up. Unscrew, pull up. This one's still caught, so i got to unscrew unscrew it while pulling up and it pops right off look at that 
pop straight off. There's these little clips inside of these to make them so they don't come out. So there's our battery. Um, I've had it apart before just to two different things in this computer. It's kind of uh, messed about with my own stupidity by putting coolers on here and all kinds of stuff. But taking this battery out. So there's a screw right here, right here, right here. Am I done saying here yet? <laughs> and if you don't know where they're at, you can always look at this one, the new unit. Three on the bottom, three on the top. Make sure you pull that clip before you start doing any work. Just pull straight up. Pull straight up and it will kill everything. Don't worry about the battery wherever it's at. The clock battery. That's just for your stuff that doesn't matter at the moment. Just screwing it to the left with the same screwdriver I used to tear apart the back cover. So you only need one tool. And I can see that this battery has bloated so much more since the last time I had this apart. I'm very glad that I found the deal and picked me up a new battery. And then I'm going to have two more up here. Middle and then clear over here. Not too hard of a process. Just gotta make sure you don't drop the screw to a spot where you don't know where it went. There we go. And this one should just pull right out. As long as it didn't do anything. So I'm gonna show you guys something that's incredible. I'm actually gonna go get me something real quick. So I didn't feel like editing, so I just left it on. So, the original, that's zeroed out, 7.5 thickness. That was on the force cell in. Force cell on this one, 11.7, or 11.5, 12 11.1, 10, 10.8. This is the only cell I had good, 8.1. Yeah, so I'm going to compare them a little bit, get some photos to show people. So, they look totally identical. The new one doesn't say that it's made in China. Do not throw away or recycle. Everything's really a total match. The words are a little bit in different places right there. They're bloated. It kind of feels like a waterbed. But yeah, now we're going to install. Went ahead and checked over the computer's components. Took some pictures of this awful battery. <gasps> now it's time to put the new one in. There's nothing that you have to take off to put on the new unit. And uh, it slides right in. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Just make sure this garment, there's a little black garment that goes around that area make sure that's out of the way make sure everything's pushed down nicely and firm um, I went ahead and blew out my uh, fans just a little bit uh, I clean them every now and then and then uh, it's ready to go back together so we're gonna put this down like this it has alignment pins right here and here and there it goes it's in that's how easy it was now you just got to get the screws in without dropping them. And then just twist them to the right and they'll tighten down. Mine at least are a little bit harder up here. They've never been out. Don't over tighten them. I don't know if you can. This thing's pretty strong.
it's not going into plastic. I think it's going into, well, they say it's like aircraft aluminum or something like that. Who knows? It's going into something better than plastic. You got uh, this one to put in, that one, and that one. Gonna put this one in. I am tightening them down all the way. Most of my videos you see me saying don't tighten everything down all the way. This is in its place. You can see all the screw holes. Now we're going to do a test to see what the battery is holding. It's a brand new battery. You just see me unbox it. We'll see what it is brand new out of the box. How much is in it? Is it going to be 90 watt hours or not? I decided to clean the computer just a little bit more. So I went away, came back. I cleaned these, but forgot to clean the fans. We're all good now. And that can's almost out anyways. So got all them screws in and plug it back in. You shouldn't hear his hiss, sis, or pop. This one is not used to being bent. line it up push it down there we go it's pushed in push down make sure all the wiring isn't coming up too high don't think that really hurts anything and put the lid back on cover lid whatever you want to call it I'm gonna blow that out a little bit Has a little build up on the inside from the fans. Gonna push the top in first. Push it in and down once it comes in. And then you're gonna wanna push this down and screw these in first. You may wanna act like you're taking them out. Go to the left and then to the right. Just in case they're um, in sideways when you pull it back it'll go, when you screw it backwards it'll go like this and then it'll line itself back up yeah see how it popped that time it's because i screwed it backwards it wasn't straight then just go a little bit finger tight unless you're abusive or live in a 24-hour earthquake zone these shouldn't need tighten too much here popping back together just the little clips on the outside. I always do the top before I do these bottom ones because it should just make them two line right up. Also another way to tell what unit this is if it's the same one as yours. Uh, the service tag rubs off. They did away with the really cool plate they used to put on these. And they've slowly done away with the lights. And Alienware's slowly just doing away with everything. Yet charging you more. About every year it goes up a hundred bucks for the unit. Okay, we have one extra screw, so I must have missed a spot, and I missed the one over there. So, the next part is us seeing if it is a full battery or not. It should be ready to turn on now. <laughs> 